Beach rock, or seaweed, algae, and other organic material that wash up on our shores is a familiar sight on most of our beaches. Beach rock is mainly a natural phenomenon. It is a habitat and nursery for a number of species, including certain species of insects. With larger animals such as birds feeding on these, it's crucial for maintaining a healthy food web. In addition, beach rock plays a role in coastal protection, for instance, by alleviating the effects of floods and preventing sand from being blown away by wind. It is also a source of nutrients, sustaining the growth of beach plants that stabilize otherwise fragile sand dunes. But when beach rock decomposes, it leaves a distinctive smell, considered by many as unpleasant. What's more, marine litter, such as plastics, can get trapped in beach rack. Beach rack is therefore often regarded as unclean, as a problem that needs to be tidied up. That's especially true in touristic areas where beaches are often mechanically clean so that visitors aren't disturbed by what they might consider to be a nuisance. Unfortunately, removing the rack also obliterates the ecosystem functions it provides. Tourism is a major economic driver in the entire Baltic Sea region, and economic concerns often prevail over environmental considerations. On the other hand, a healthy Baltic Sea is often also the very reason why tourists come to our region in the first place, attracted by its beautiful sandy beaches and dunes and thriving flora and fauna. A balance needs to be found. Embracing the ecosystem approach and ecosystem-based management when dealing with beach rack is a key element in achieving this. Our marine and coastal ecosystems need to be protected and kept in a healthy state while, at the same time, permitting economic, social, and cultural activities. These two aims are not mutually exclusive. However, one thing is for sure. When ecosystem integrity is compromised, human activities, such as tourism, tend to be affected too. Constituting the foundation of HELCOM, and of marine protection efforts in the Baltic Sea, the Helsinki Convention has advocated preserving biological diversity and promoting the sustainable use of marine resources since the 1970s. HELCOM has also issued recommendations about the protection of the coastal strip and sustainable tourism in coastal zones. We therefore fully appreciate the objectives of the Contra project that seeks to strike a balance between seemingly opposing interests. At HELCOM, we share the same objectives. CONTRA acknowledges the socio-economic value of tourism while also offering beach rack management options that deal with the issue in the most sustainable way. Not only does it offer solutions for dealing with beach rack management and disposal in an environmentally sound manner, but those solutions also come at a lower cost to local authorities. Looking forward, further raising awareness of the valuable ecosystem functions provided by beach rack will be key especially in educating both local decision makers tasked with managing their beaches and beachgoers who may not always be fully aware of what the issue entails. Beach rack is not a nuisance, it's part of the marine experience. In the end, we all need to acknowledge that we're part of the ecosystem. Yes, it's fine to benefit from the sea, but that comes with the responsibility to maintain it in a healthy state. When it comes to beach rack, we may simply have to face the fact that it has as much of a right to lie on the beach as we do. On behalf of Helcom, I'd like to wish you a successful final conference, and I'm looking forward to the outcomes of the Contra project. Thank you very much.